Hello, my name is Adam Wilder. This is the first in a series of videos devoted to weathering the KV-1 model. As you can see, this model already has color modulation. Although a bit exaggerated at this phase, these extreme gradients and various tones of green will be reduced after the weathering steps. But, let's make the markings first. We are going to create a mask using an image of the tank that's been resized and printed roughly to 135th scale. After placing the printout over a piece of cardboard, I used a straight edge and a new sharp blade to carefully cut out the numbers. It's best to make a few slices, lightly pressing the knife to ensure that you do not rip the paper. A bit of super glue will straighten any narrow fragile parts of the paper mask. I lightly bent in the protruding marks to make sure that the entire mask would sit snug against the model. With the numbers removed, I cut the entire section out from the print. It is best to have a variety of different size masking tape at your disposal for tasks such as this. Use a larger section of tape to mask the areas around the stencil. Liquid mask can be used to stick the inner parts of the stencil against the model to help ensure sharp edges after the numbers are airbrushed. A narrow strip of tape was used to mask the center of the zero. White life color paint, thin to about one part paint and two parts thinner was used. My compressor was set to about 20 PSI. Airbrush very light amounts of paint at a time, using quick passes until the white numbers are fairly opaque. Flaws such as chips in the markings and overspray will often be present after the mask is removed. These errors are easy to fix. The triangular part of the masking was made in two parts using masking tape.
Markins came out a bit better on the second side, probably as a result of having obtained a bit of practice from the first side. The overspray seen here will later be covered using chipping effects. More white paint was applied this time using a paintbrush to cover the chips, while adding an authentic appearance of brush strokes to the markings. It is always best to thin acrylics a bit, using tap water, when painting them with a brush. With the markings finished, I airbrushed a few good coats of Tamiya Clear over the entire model in all of its components, such as the running gear. This coat of clear will give the model a satin finish. It will ensure that the finish of the markings is the same as on the rest of the base coat. Remember to apply the coats using quick passes with the airbrush. The clear will also give you a smooth surface, making it easier to apply washes. The upcoming washes and filters will reduce this satin finish. Please like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos. You can find more interesting links in the description. Thank you for watching. See you next time.